Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen here with Wandering Out Yonder. Well, Shannon and I are on the first, I guess, or second day of our road trip. We drove all day yesterday. Um, we are down in Santee, South Carolina. We're on our way down to Edisto Beach. Thought we would stop here and spend the night. And we're going to share with you the campground here, Cypress View Campground here at Santee. Uh, I think this is a state park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's on the Marion Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Or Lake Marion is what it's called, I think. Anyhow, you can see the sun's just coming up behind us, but we're going to take you around and show you the campground. Okay. So pretty much most of the sites are level. Um, there is a little bit of slant. I mean, there's not a whole lot of uphill here, <laughs> but there is a tiny uh, grade on some of them. Um, I'm going to swing you back around here. And then some of them, you don't have to worry so much about the grade. It, they're pretty flat. But you can see, this is the whole campground you're looking at right now. It's not very big. Would you say there were 50 sites here? 50 sites. And these all have electric and water. Right. No sewer, though. They do have a dump station. So anyhow, you can see there's pull-through sites, a few of those. Most of them are back in. Now these two little pull-through sites right here, let's see, is it 29 I'm standing in front of. Um, this one up here is 27. You see it? I'm showing these to you because they're on the outside loop and backed up to the woods. So you have a lot of space in between the sites. You can see between us and this site, there's a lot of space between this site and this site. A lot of space. This one in particular, number 29, I think is pretty cool. Like if I were to come back in this area, because you're kind of over here by yourself. You've got a nice little area. Nobody's backed up to you or around you. And it is a pull through site. Lots of space. Looks like it has an area where a tent, you could set up a tent, but um, electric water, picnic table, and lots of room. So that's a really cool site right there. Alrighty. You can see um, there are a lot of wetlands in this area. As you're driving down 95, you'll see it gets deeper and deeper into the wetlands, the floodplain areas, the marshy areas of South Carolina and North Carolina. But you can see the trees out there in the middle of the water. Interesting area. Lots of moss. Okay, so you can see they're all kind of the same. Um, right now it's winter. It is January, late January. So all their leaves are down. You can see pretty much clearly through the park. But there are trees surrounding the campsites. So I imagine that they do provide some shade um, around here. But you can see like this is site 31 and a lot of these face the lake so if you enjoy camping right on the lake all of these sites we're getting ready to walk through here are right facing on the uh, lake facing the lake cute little camper right there as you can see site this is site 34 this kind of loops around in front of the lake here there's about six or seven sites through here but you can have a nice front, nice lake view you right right in front of it and they're fairly good size not too much space in between them a little bit of space in between them but it's uh, pretty slow right now because of the winter months so this campground features two bathrooms um, I believe there's a shower inside of this one over here to the left we're going to go check out the one up front here. And again, you can see here's another pull-through site up here, number 39. This is kind of a cool site because you are actually have a lot of lakefront to yourself here. So, yeah. Site 38, 37. And then back around. Those are the lake fronts. 
and it just kind of swings back around back here great big old trees just love it this looks like extra parking for this area all right so this is site 41 another pull through right here on the lake so you would be able to wake up to that really cool view looks like there might be another well a few more lakefront sites here but yeah someone has this reserved maybe but look look above I just have to show this to you look at the moss and the trees okay so this is another pull fuse uh, pull through site that was across from the one I just showed you and then some back end sites this is site 43 this is kind of a cool site too 43 and maybe 41 is next to it these are nice sites and 40 right here these are also right on the lake so if you're in this area hopefully this will help you decide if you'd like to stay here seems like a nice little campground it's not huge I think there might be about 50 sites or so evidently today is trash day love seeing the moss just hanging off of the trees see that they're just hanging off the trees so we're right in front of the marina they have this really cute little boat here with a platform perfect picture spot but we're at the marina we're going to check it out see if we can't go on on the pier i'm not sure if we can or not but yeah this is a pretty little place so this is part of it lots of parking looks like even more maybe restrooms or public maybe a visitor center over there i'm not sure but public uh, picnic grounds and so forth so it's a pretty big area like i said popular for boating and fishing and that sort of thing all right so the marina store right next to the campground is only open on Fridays, Saturdays, and I think Sundays right now because of the winter weather. But you can see they have a little restaurant. There's a little gift shop in there. All right, so take a walk out to the end of the pier. So we've walked to the end of the pier and over to the right, you can see the campground. So we're just right down from the campground. But then you have this really cool lake in front of you. Lots of geese out. I saw a turtle bobbing his head around in the water. Yeah, this is a huge lake. Really cool. Look at that. That looks like some sort of holly to the left. Do you see the berries on it? This is some really interesting trees. I'm going to find out what these are, but look at the bark on this tree. Just as smooth. I'm going to find out what this is. And there's like little berries or something on it. Not sure what that is. This fantastic moss. Just under a canopy right here. <clears throat> okay, so... They do, looks like they have um, kayak rentals here. So if you don't have a kayak and you would like to get out and paddle around here, it's right down from the campground. You can walk to it. There's the campground right there. That's how close you are. There's a playground across the street from the campground. It's a place for the kids to play. A picnic pavilion and another public restroom. So this is the entrance to the campground right here. And the campground host is right here at the entrance. So if you have any concerns or questions, I guess you can visit right there. Um, as you heard, there are dumpsters in the area. And there's a dump station somewhere. I don't know where it is in the park, but I do know that there is 
Oh, right there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here is a dump station for the campground. And then over to the left, I believe that's the dumpsters over there. Is it? All right. So, like we said, it's a small campground that loops around. And they're fairly long sites, all of them. So, um, and each with electric and water, a picnic table, and a fire ring. So this is site number three right here. And then it goes on three, four across the street, five, six, seven, eight. So you can kind of get an idea. Number six is a bit small. Anyhow, we're going to take you over to the public restroom shower house. This is one of them. There are actually two in this tiny little campground, so that's kind of nice. So there are three stalls and two showers in this bathroom. And it smells like they've just cleaned the bathrooms. And we're going to take you to site 15. This is handicapped accessible. I believe, I'm not sure the number on that one, but there's two here that are paved and are handicap accessible sites. You can see this one over here. Um, and then the bathhouse is right behind them. Just so you have an idea on the loop. Okay, so this is number 14 and number 15 are both paved handicap sites. So you can see even the picnic area is paved out. All right. Bring it back around here. But all these sites are empty now. This is 16. You can kind of see in relation to where the lake is. 18, 20, 22. These are the, on the inner loop. And then over here on the right... 21, 23, 25. I believe this is 19 right here. No, 17. This is 17. 17, 19, 21, 23, 25. But what I wanted to point out is it's there's a center area like space in between, even on the inner loop. You're not like backed up to anybody in particular. You're side by side, but not backed up to another side. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so we are back at Fran. As you can see, lots of room. We've got her backed way in there. And we have lots of space to the left of us. So we have plenty of privacy. So we're taking a little drive through the park to show you some more of the camping areas. We just discovered this. How cool is this? So these are little walkways that go out on the lake and there's like little cabins out there. So we're going to stop here and see if we can't go in to take a look at this area. So they go off to the right and the left. It's pretty darn cool. Anyhow, all these beautiful trees, look at them. The moss hanging off of them. I'm going to take a walk down this boardwalk. Wow, this is super cool. I am sure this is a very popular area when it's open. I don't know if the cabins are available right now or not. They might be. They almost look like, well, they're round, like yurts. But they're uh, not fabric covered. So cool. Look at those trees in the water like that. So cool. What a pretty area. all the moss hanging off of the trees. Super, super cool. All right, so back to the cabins. So if you look, you know, they have AC units, so I guess they're heated and AC. I don't know if they have restrooms in them, bathrooms. I don't know how they would, but who knows. So the, they have like little decks that go around the backside of it. 
as you can see. And electric, there's some spigots on the outside. Yeah, kitchen's over there. They have running water. Yeah, so there's, a sink. there's like a living area, a bedroom off to itself, a kitchen off to itself, and there is running water. So I don't know if they have a bathroom. Yeah, I would say that's what that is right there. Yeah. That's, that's like the living room. Oh, okay. All right, so <clears throat> we discovered that these are, these are super cool. They're two bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen, and in between the two bedrooms is a bathroom. So you can access it from both of the bedrooms, which are in the back part of these little cabins. Super cool. Haven't looked to see what the prices are, but yeah, this is, these are nice. This is cabin one here on the very end. you can see what a pretty view you would have every morning and they each have a picnic table in front of them so you do have some space in between so if they're all filled up then it's not too close but you can see they run down the other side of the over here too there's some on this end and that end down there pretty cool all right and then in the front here is a dock so you could probably tie up your boat, access it from this point, and you can see across the way over there some more of the cabins, the waterfront cabins, but these are really nice. <clears throat> so this is part of Santee State Park, and you can see across over there, these are private homes and properties, I'm sure. So. So, anyhow, thanks for joining us today as we went wandering out yonder here at Santee State Park. Um, and this is the Cypress View Campground that we wanted to share with everybody today. This is, we wanted to share this in case anybody's making a trip down 95 one way or the other. This is a nice little campground, a nice little area to stop and spend the night. And if you're inclined to go fishing and boating, then it's probably be up your alley. So, anyhow, we wanted to share it with you. It's a pretty little place. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys later. Bye.